Hello, welcome. We are discussing uh, polynomials, and uh, this is lecture number two. I hope you have already watched part one before watching this part two. In this lecture, we are going to uh, finding the zero of method. So, let me explain um, how to find a zero of polynomial by graphical method. Zero of polynomial, zero of polynomial. by graph zero job polynomial by graphical method this is what we have to learn right so how to find if px be any polynomial if px be any polynomial polynomial then Plot the graph of polynomial polynomial by taking px is equal to y by taking putting px is equal to y. If the graph of the equation <coughs> if in the graph of equation of equation y is equal to px intersect or touch x axis x axis at any point any where any point the value of x at that point at that point is called zero of the polynomial zero of the polynomial right it means what we wanted to say px be a polynomial px means polynomial must be in x then plot the graph of polynomial by taking px is equal to y y is equal to px if the graph of y is equal to px this is an equation because there is an equal to intersect or touch x axis at any point then value of x at that point that point is called zero of the polynomial right so what does it mean the statement is like this suppose i have x minus one right i want to plot this graph of this polynomial so how can you write it put as what we had said y is equal to px that is y is equal to x minus 1 in place of px we will put y and therefore this is y is equal to x plus 1 this is an equation because there is an equal to so it is an equation now as what you made uh, in your childhood the table for finding the value you can make similar here also there is no problem and uh, <clears throat> in that table right i am taking this one x and y right so x i say this is an x and y i made it here like you may take value of x and y put correspondingly x and y if i put x is equal to 0 y is minus 1 if i put y x is equal to 1 y is 0 if i put x is equal to 2 y is 1 
if I put x is equal to 3, y is 2 and so on, if I put 4, then y is 3. If you plot all these points together in a graph, you will find that this will intersect x axis at one and only one point. So, in that case, if I plot the graph of this function, see this one and uh, this is y axis this one is y this is x this one is x dash this one is y dash that is origin you see here x 0 y minus 1 where is that point x 0 my y minus 1 is this point x 0 y minus 1 right and x 1 y 0 is this point x 1 y 0 is this point isn't it x 2 y 1 x 2 is there and y1 is here so that will be 2 1 there this will be 2 1 and if you plot a line <coughs> by joining at least these three points then what will come if the line will intersect x axis point right now this is the point where they intersect so that point is called zero of the polynomial so this point is called zero of the polynomial zero of polynomial zero of polynomial right this point is called zero of polynomial say like this zero of polynomial zero of polynomial right by algebraic method you can also find it y is equal to put px is equal to zero if i put px is equal to zero then x minus 1 is equal to 0, then x is equal to 1. So, x is equal to 1 is 0 of the polynomial. This is what uh, by algebraic method and by graphical method, we can also find 0 of the polynomial like this. So, if polynomial is of uh, anywhere, any uh, line which intersect x axis at 1 and only 1 point, then there will be 1, 0. Suppose, if there is a, a graph of a uh, a curve quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial has graph like this so graph of quadratic polynomial i am going to discuss here this is a say graph of polynomial this is y this one is y dash this one is x and this one is x dash suppose if graph of a polynomial will intersect like this then how many point of intersection is there there is one two three three point of intersection in that case there will be three zeros three zeros of polynomial of the polynomial polynomial Thick. suppose there is another graph and which uh, curve intersect x axis there is a polynomial in x and uh, that intersect x axis in and curve intersect at like this this is what so in that case there will be how many zeros you can say uh, there will be zeros like uh, zeros how many zeros will be there there will be in that case there will be one the point of intersections are on x axis one two and there will be three and this will be four and that will be five so there are five zeros in that polynomials so the point of intersection that is one two and three so there are three zeros here is only one times they intersect at x axis and therefore there is only one zero so depending upon the point of intersection on x axis the number of zeros can be obtained so by graphically the number of zeros is equal to 
biographically the number of zeros is equal to <coughs> the number of zeros zeros of the polynomial polynomial px is equal to 0 is equal to the number of point of intersection of intersection intersection of point of of graph graph y is equal to px with x axis x axis number of zeros of polynomial px that is polynomial in x polynomial in x L in x so depend upon this so let us consider basically we have to learn about the quadratic polynomial so let us try to understand the graph of quadratic polynomial graphs of quadratic polynomial polynomials let us understand the graph of quadratic polynomial and what is that graph of quadratic polynomial so in that case the case first case first when a is equal to greater than 0 and px is equal to ax c then in this case the graph of polynomial will be upward since a is greater than 0 and therefore graph of polynomial will be upward right so let me write like this this one is y axis and uh, this one is y dash, this is origin, this is x axis polynomial since a is greater than 0 and therefore polynomial will have graph like this right now it will be a curve right. there will be a curve like this curve like this right so graph of this will be right a polynomial will be like this polynomial will be like this and this will intersect at two points only 1 and 2 so that will be the zero of the polynomial and this graph is called vertically upward the graph is is vertically upward upward right there is a condition that when it will intersect that uh, uh, we will learn later on but uh, Till now, just look the graph and then we will decide that whether they will intersect at x axis or not. So, similarly, if the graph is vertically a is less than 0, in that case, the graph will be vertically downward. Right? So, in that case, if uh, this is y this one is x dash this one is y dash this one is x and if a is less than 0 then graph will be like this vertically downward graph will be like vertically downward right so we can write a graph we can plot like this the graph is say like this in that case say this will intersect like these two points 
so in that case point 1 and point 2 these are the two point of intersections where the graph will intersect each other so in that case there will be two point of intersection and therefore there will be two zeros one and two but when this graph will happen this is less than zero means the graph will be graph of x square plus bx will be vertically downward vertically downward downward so when a is less than zero then downward and when a is greater than zero then b up but in both the case when the graph will touch each other then what will happen in that case suppose there is another curve and i made like this and then there is another one and graph h touches like this uh, a is greater than zero but graph is like this correct so in that case what will happen say like this okay and uh, this will touch graph of the curve touches x axis you know and this touches x axis only at only one point in that case the equation has only one root right now this is a point so one only one one zero one zero right now it touches x axis when a is greater than zero and b is equal to zero in that case this will happen but uh, we will uh, learn it later on so that condition is not but uh, similar think just about that when graph is touches x axis in that case this is x this is x dash this is y this is y dash then it will be uh, there will be only one zero suppose uh, if a is less than zero then graph will touch it downward downward direction you know so in that case in that case there will be like this curve will touch this and that will be quadratic graph of quadratic equation which is touches at this point only this is x x dash y and y dash right now so that is when a is less than 0 and x square plus bx plus c graph of x square plus bx plus c y is equal to so in that case there will be 1 0 1 0 so when graph is touches x axis at only one point there will be 1 0 but there will be no zeros suppose uh, there is another graph i am looking for where neither they touch nor intersect or intersect like uh, here is a hmm. let us see now uh, there will be a graph like uh, this is y this is y dash this is x dash and this is x say graph is like this fail not intersected any x axis anywhere this is also a case where x square plus bx plus c y is equal to graph of this it will not intersect x axis anywhere and therefore there will be a uh, graph of this one say this one is y axis y dash x and x dash and graph is like this quadratic equation because when a is less than zero the graph will be like this in this case there is no zero either in this situation or in that situation in both the situation will zero
so uh, there will be no zero in that case there is no intersection so there will be no zero and in this case also there will be no zero so graph will have no zero in that case there is no zero both the cases there is no zero no zero we can write no zero since it neither intersect nor touches the x axis since graph of y is equal to px neither intersect intersect x axis x axis nor touches x axis touches x axis so therefore the equation polynomial polynomial px has no real value real value for which px becomes zero for which px become will be zero and hence their age no zero there is no zero of the polynomial no zero of the polynomial right so you have seen here that the number of zeros uh, will determine the number of if polynomial is in y then the number of point similarly no Similarly, if Py be a polynomial, polynomial in y, variable y, then the number of zeros, number of zeros is given by, given by the point of intersection on y axis point of intersection on y x y axis right now because polynomial is in y the value of y that is the value of y the value of y will be considered as zero considered as zero of polynomial zero of polynomial for which py become 0 right now so this is what polynomial and uh, uh, 0 of the polynomial can be obtained now let us consider some questions from your book right now and so that so i hope you got it uh, that how graphically we can obtain if graph do not intersect even many um, uh, curves are there in which the graph do not intersect at even a single point that then in this case suppose graph of the function is like this this is x and x dash this is y dash and y right and suppose graph is like this but even then they are not intersecting anywhere x axis so that is not but if the polynomial is in y then there will be one zero i hope you got it if polynomial is in x px has no zero px has no zero polynomial is in y then py is equal to zero has one zero one zero right so depending upon x and y now let us consider uh, one question from this uh, exercise uh, given um, in your book this is the number of zeros number of zeros of the polynomial and uh, what is the 
y is equal to px given in this picture find the number of zeros we have to calculate the number of zeros in the polynomial right now so we have to calculate the number of zeros in the polynomial how many zeros are there so we understood it and learn it that number of zeros is depending upon what number of zeros are the number of point of intersection on x axis so how many this graph is like this and it do not intersect anywhere on x axis and that is why there is no zero no zero in this polynomial has no zero this intersect only one point and therefore zero number of zeros how many zeros are there one only one this intersect one two and three so there are three zeros three zeros number of how many zeros are there uh, we can write it three so there are three zeros three zeros right now three zeros and in this one how many zeros are there this one it intersect at one and two there are two points so there are two zeros how many zeros there are two zeros and this one this is one then two then three then four so there are four zeros number of zeros are four and this one one two three there are three zeros one two and three so there will be three zeros so the number of point of intersection will give the number of zeros in any polynomial and therefore we can store it that um, by graphical representation we can find the number of zeros is equal to number of point of intersection and therefore we can say the number of zeros of polynomial the number of zeros of polynomial is equal to the number of the number of point of intersection point of intersection of polynomial polynomial y is equal to px at with x axis with x axis so i hope you got it isn't it so this is uh, what all about today and in next class we will see again and uh, we will discuss the next topic and relation between zeros of the polynomial and how to find the polynomial when zeros are already known and uh, some other things also but uh, till then um, i hope you will revise this and you will practice it well so god bless you and if you haven't subscribed it uh, this channel please subscribe it and also refer to your friends for uh, new videos and all right so please subscribe and share to your friends so that uh, uh, they will be benefited also right about this